Hi folks and welcome to Hong Kong. This is pre-riot and protest Hong Kong. I mean downtown on Hong Kong Island amongst all of the fancy shops going to a bougie restaurant in the middle of a suits district. I probably should have known better, but let's check it out. Thanks for joining me as I travel the world, going from fine dining through to street food and local specialties, all in an effort to find the world's best seafood. So Google Maps in Hong Kong is generally really accurate. I got so lost this day though, wandering around a bunch of different designer shops that I have no interest in going into. The entrance to the shop is actually out of the mall, on the street, hard to find, and then it's downstairs from there. So don't bother going into the fancy shops, just head straight on down and be prepared for disappointment. Well, I should save that till the end. But here we go, take a look at the menu. I gotta say, for this part of town, it's actually not overpriced again. This is Hong Kong dollars, so divide everything by about eight to get back to US dollars. So that's like, what, a $25 fish and chips? It's not a bargain, but still, for this part of town, it's about what you would expect. And they did have some different dinner options for those using the company account. They also have a bunch of different fresh oysters, all for some reason 50% off. Beware of 50% off oysters and a couple of different fish of the day. What a surprise, I went for everything. <laughs> oysters, lobsters, all kinds of stuff. Clams, you can check it out there. We've got a nice little seafood sampler coming in first. And two sides of incredibly small and overpriced asparagus and mashed potato. Half a dozen fresh oysters. Well, I guess I should have taken my own advice about the discounted ones. You can see they weren't that well open. There was fragments of shell on them. I guess they saved the 50% on the skill of the shucker. And a nice little bagged lemon. I was tucked away in a corner with my little feast. Let's dig in. They're not cleaned off the shell. Great texture but lacks flavour. I have a feeling this is steamed first, fully cooked and then grilled. So it's, I don't know. Still for me, a waste to have it, not a little bit under and just so oily. The crab is the flavor I want. It's quite disappointing to be looking at what's the most acceptable. There's really nothing outstanding here that I would come back for. Certainly not the ambience with all the office workers. This is not a place you come with friends to chill. But it is what it is. Slightly softer shell on this one. I'm hoping it's a little, yeah, it is slightly less cooked. Mm. Oh, how disappointing, but it's a really mushy texture. Uh, so I think so. All good? Uh, most of it is overcooked, but oh. some is okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Something wrong? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna finish it, but I think everything except for the shrimp is overcooked. Shrimp, not well cooked. No, the rest is too cooked. The too shrimp cooked. is okay. Oh, okay. Like this is very tough. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Nah. Would you finish it or? Well, yeah, I'm not gonna waste it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Is it normal with the oysters you open them but you don't take it off the yes. shell? Yes, we don't take it off. Okay. And this is meant to be truffled mashed potato, right? Yes. Okay, I think it's just mashed potato. Just mashed? Also, it comes with, it says it comes with 
and garlic aioli, and then you have a choice of one extra, like peppercorn sauce. Yeah, so I ordered this one, and then nothing else came. And I asked, and he brought this one, and then he said, there is no garlic aioli, it never comes with that. So I think maybe your menu needs updating. It comes with both, and then everything you choose one of these. Garlic and cocktail. This is they mix it together. This is called cocktail sauce. Garlic. No. Garlic aioli. Garlic aioli. And it's different. They it mix it inside. Put I see. It inside. The garlic and the cocktail sauce outside, and then you can choose them. Um, uh, mayonnaise sauce. Individually. I see. Or uh, bernays, or bolognese, or peppercorn. I see. I see. <laughs> Shall I bring you another glass of wine to you? No, thank you. Uh, I miss Paris, Bangkok. That's an $11 bottle of wine, apparently. It's not wine, that's an $11 bottle of water, apparently. I better finish it. I love that Hong Kong has started charging a mandatory service charge, but still ask for tips. Okay, now I appreciate this may seem like I'm just whining, but that's a bloody expensive meal in a restaurant that doesn't deserve to charge that price on any grounds other than their location. The fact that they're in a ritzy area near lots of businesses means they can, I get it. But the food just doesn't live up to it. I don't know. I don't know what I expected, but there was just nothing outstanding at all. The servers were friendly, but didn't really seem to know what they were doing or the dishes. Everything was overcooked. Nothing was exceptional. Even if everything had been perfectly cooked for the amount of seafood, it was still overpriced. But they don't specify on the menu. It just says, oysters and clams and lobster nothing to do with size or numbers of them for the price of it i think it's probably the worst value seafood platter i've ever had and the ambience of that restaurant it's an after work meeting place not somewhere you go to actually enjoy yourself zero stars for me